Live from your Central Texas News Leader, you're watching KXAN Austin News. Folks with allergies are doing all they can now to cope with the spring pollen, taking any medication that'll work. But how do parents treat allergies in children? Leslie Rohde has more on what's going around. Nice to see you again. Aaron Little is back at the doctor's office. For about five years, the 16-year-old has had trouble with allergies and asthma, making the simplest of things seem difficult. Just cutting the grass, I get, like, really itchy. I come home, have to go right to the tub or take Benadryl, so yeah, it's pretty hard. Allergic disorders make up the number one chronic disease in children. The American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology says allergies affect as many as 40% of kids. But Austin allergist Dr. Pooja Varshney reminds us children are not little adults, so their symptoms and treatment may be different. Aside from congestion, runny nose, and headache, parents should watch for children scratching the roofs of their mouths with their tongues, scratching their ears, and having trouble sleeping that may make them seem hyperactive in the day and their eyes can tell all. Because children have thinner skin, you can sometimes see that swelling underneath their eyes more prominently or the dark circles that people, that a lot of parents describe. The best way to diagnose allergies in children, Dr. Varshney says, is still skin testing. And remember, treatment for adults in children is not the same. Certainly dosing is different, uh, whether it's the actual dose given or the interval at which we give the medication. Certain medications aren't approved for young children, such as decongestants. The best homeopathic allergy treatment for children, a nasal saline wash, says Varshney. And even though researchers are testing several herbal remedies right now, she advises parents to take any herbal supplements to the pediatrician to make sure a child can handle what's in them. Doctors often see asthma from allergies show up in infants and toddlers. So even if a child can't tell you what's wrong, watch for wheezing and fast breathing. We have more of what area doctors tell us is going around with this story under the health tab of our website. Leslie Rohde, KXAN Austin News.